Hello everyone, this is Mark van de Wettering of the Brain Wagon blog, and Merry Christmas Eve. Um, today, amidst all the cooking and baking and stuff that I'm doing, I uh, ran across an interesting post by Ken Boak, I believe. He's actually, he uh, works, he has a blog called Sustainable Suburbia, and he's interested in, he's also, I believe, the designer of the Nanode, which is a Arduino-compatible um, computer. Um, I don't have one of these, but they look really cool. They have wireless and Ethernet capabilities, and they're priced really reasonably. They seem really cool. But uh, he pointed me at uh, a port of BASIC for the Arduino, um, a port of Tiny Basic. Tiny Basic has been around for as long as microcomputers have been around. Uh, this particular port appears to have been uh, published in 1976 for the 68000 and was written by Gordon Brandley. Um, this guy named Mike Field did a port to C that works on the Arduino. And I thought that was really cool. Um, you can run little basic programs, but it didn't actually include any Arduino functionality. It did, you can't read and write pins or do anything like that. And I thought, that's kind of weird. Anyway, um, uh, Mr. Boak is uh, putting forth a challenge to get it to run on the Nanode and to have access to all the cool Nanode peripherals. Well, I don't have one of those, but I do have uh, a few Arduinos lying around. And I thought I'd give it a try. So I took my ancient, junky, um, this is an Arduino NG, so this has just the 168 with just 16K of memory. And I took the source code that Mike provided and I set to work. And after an hour or two of staring at code and tinkering while I was, you know, baking and doing stuff, I came up with a demo. So I thought I'd show that to you. So here's the um, computer as we said. I jammed an LED into pin 13 so that we could blink it on and off. And here is the prompt that's running on, let's see, can I actually do this one-handed? It's running on uh, the uh, Arduino. I'm just using a screen as a serial um, terminal emulator, but you can go, you know, print, uh, hello, and if you just, oops, sorry, I didn't type that right, typing one-handed, run, ta-da, prints hello. You can do list, and that's not tremendously exciting, but perhaps we could, sh I could show a slightly more complicated program. Okay, here's a slightly more complicated program. It demonstrates a couple of the added commands that I added to the interpreter. Mode operates like the pin mode command in the Arduino. Uh, 13 comma 1 makes pin 13 be an output. WR writes just like digital write, uh, 13 comma 1, and it prints on. I implemented a delay functionality so you could actually uh, do pauses. And then it turns it back off and then goes to 10. So if you run this, you would expect it to go on and off. And sure enough, if you go down here to the LED, it goes on and off. So this is really uh, kind of a nice little setup. Um, so what are the caveats? Well, um, currently it only uses the on-chip uh, static RAM, uh, which I believe is only 1K on these AT168s. A regular uh, 328 base modern Arduino would have about 2K, and they say that about 1.4K of that is available for programs, which isn't a huge amount, but you could probably modify this to use an off-chip uh, serial uh, RAM if you really wanted to, which would be kind of a fun thing to do. But uh, you also probably want to do uh, inputs. I haven't implemented a function to read pins. I was thinking I'd create an RD function that would just read pins. That'd be fine. Then analog reads and writes, and then you're pretty much in position to do whatever you want in BASIC. It's kind of fun because um, you don't need to do the sort of compile load step. You can just sort of tweak around and uh, make these programs work however you want them to. It has all the advantages of the sort of interactive programming environments that I grew up on in, in the early 80s. So um, I just thought I'd give you a progress report. I'll probably be working on this a uh, little bit during my time off next week. Um, I'll post the code. Um, if anybody else is interested in working on this and thinking about it a little more, uh, drop me a line, uh, brainwagon at gmail.com. And I hope that you all are having a great Christmas. And uh, I hope that uh, Santa brings you something good and hacky and uh, that you'll have a great new year. This has been Mark Van de Wettering, Programming in Basic on the Brainwagon blog.